morning guys today is saturday so i plan to lose my hair and retouch my hair today and also plan to make my son's bab my son's hair my husband babbing my son's hair but i'm just feeling so tired Ooh, this week has been really really busy for me but then i'll try if i can do if i if i can't even make my own hair i'll just make sure that i try and pat my son so, but i really i really hope i can make my hair and retouch my hair and pat my son so today. But anyway i'll carry you guys along so
kitchen needs a bit of torch my sink so i'm just gonna wash it now i usually use this product it's a bleach so and it's very 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 good for removing tough stain or any on any um surface so i'm using this to wash my sink it's not really dirty but i just don't like you see this brownish stuff this brownish thing around it so this is the work this is what this does it removes it completely so I'm
Hi guys. Um, yesterday I planned to retouch my hair, but something came up and I had to attend to it, so I couldn't retouch my hair yesterday. So today I'm planning to losing this unkept hairdo and retouch my hair. So I'll be showing you guys the step by step on how I retouch my hair. So just keep watching. All right. So first of all, I was losing this hair and. Um, it shouldn't take me more than 30 minutes. So guys, I've just finished losing my hair. So the next thing for me to do now is for me to start retouching my hair. But I'll first comb it loosely, like slightly. I'll just comb it slightly. I'll not really comb it so that it won't pull my, the root of my hair and then the relaxer will start peppering me all of a sudden so i'll just comb it um slightly and the items i'll be using to retouch i will be using this this is the relaxer i normally use i normally get it from nigeria whoever is going to nigeria i'll just ask them to help me to buy it and then send it to me so i use this to search it and then this is the spatula that i normally use to mix it then i use this um, tail comb and then i use this white tooth comb and then I base my edges with this cream. So I normally use this cream to base my edges just to prevent it from getting burnt from the relaxer. And then I also use a pair of um, glove just to protect my hand from the ash chemical. And also I improvise uh, my mixing jar. I just use one of my um, soap container. So this is what I normally use to mix my relaxer. So this is just one of the soap container that I have I've had for a long time so I just mix my relaxer in it and I keep it for another time so this is what I improvise with so guys I'll um, start relaxing my hair and then I'll show you the end result
here. It looks more retouched. Well, no, that's so cool. I need to wash my hair now. She wants to help me to make my hair so let's let's see the magic she wants to perform oh, 